Good morning, everybody. We're leaving the marina right now here in Almorada at Biden Mary's. A little mix of, a uh, little change of plans anyhow. We were gonna go on the bay boat, but had a malfunction, so now we're going on the big boat. Jocelyn's here, Dakota's here. Dakota wanted to go on that new boat anyhow, the big boat, so <laughs> it's our first time on the Freeman. And we were gonna head out. I don't know what we're going fishing for yet. We got some squid and ballyhoo. We're not gonna try to catch live bait because we don't really have a lot of time. We're trying to get in around lunchtime. But we got a few hours to have fun. Hopefully catch some dinner. We'll see you out there. Sarah, are we getting ready? Do they want to catch anything? Yeah. All right. Well, the, according to the bottom machine, it was stacked a minute ago. There's lots of fish We're down taking there. our merry time getting ready, so maybe. We are taking our time getting ready. Away. Dakota needs to catch some too. We're going to see what happens. We got three rods. We're about to go down. You can see the screen there was loaded, so let's see if they bite. Did you hit bottom yet, Dakota? Okay, keep going. You should hit soon. What happened? Um, Sarah caught a little perch. Marked lots of fish, and they're not biting, there's not much current, so it might not be in our favor. Oh, we're gonna try again. Fishing with Captain Nick Stanton. What do you think? <laughs> Great. Just yank up? Yeah, lift up, wind down a little bit. There you go. Yeah. Bring it all the way up? Um, it's up to you. you no, can... be greedy. Put it back down. Be greedy, because Sarah's getting a bite. <laughs> Finally. With it. If you want to catch him, feel free. Is that you? No, that was okay. him. What if we have each other? Pull it up. <laughs> Did you get a bite? Or you have one she on? had a good bite. It was pulling good. Is he still on there? Any bites, Dakota? Yeah. There you go. Lift up, wind down. Yep, wind down. Get him. Turn the handle. She had a bite. More cranking next time. Yeah, faster. Go back down the bottom real quick. Oh, arm workout. Oh, yeah. We moved out deeper. We marked a lot of fish in shallow, just couldn't get a bite. They can't even tell if they're on there or not, though. It's a lot, a lot of line out when you're deep dropping by hand this deep. Sarah says she's got one on. Hopefully, it'll be a snapper. You know, you never know. Sometimes we get some queen snappers out here. We want Dakota to get it. Oh, get him, Dakota. Wind, wind, wind. Lift up. There you go. That's a good one. Now, either you can hold it or you can put it in a holder, whatever you want to do. There you go, just crank nice and steady the whole time. Yeah, I might be tangled. Oh, you guys are tangled. Yeah. There's a fish on there, though. Keep coming, keep cranking. Don't stop cranking. It's a queen snapper. Keep going. I don't know, but it's a mess. Crank a little bit more, Jocelyn. Just a little more. There you go. We got one. We didn't get skunked. <laughs> Dinner. Who caught it? <laughs> it's a good question. We got a big mess here to get entangled. Let's find out. Teamwork. Right type though. I, oh my god, this hook's about to go underneath. Ooh. Ah, oh, get it off of me. Ow, get it Here, quick. Somebody get her. it. <laughs> Ew, it's in your skin. I know. Get Ugh. pick up the weight. There. Oh yeah, put the weight in right Yikes. away. Don't do that, okay. people. Alright. Keep cranking, you're doing good. Mine felt bigger than that. There you go, little queen snapper. Alright, picture time. Hold up, if it's my fish, she's taking all the glory for it. Well, hang on, we're gonna get more glory shots. <laughs> Your fish is floating up, see how it's hanging up like that? There he is, here he comes. We got color back here, let's see what we got here. Give us another queen snapper. It's a queen, a double header. Dakota Woo! got two. We're busy fighting over back here. Dakota's back here catching two. There you go, perfect, that's good. Nice. All right, grab uh, the bottom one there. Kind of pull that leader and don't hook yourself, okay? Keep coming, watch the sinker right in the boat. Oops. Right in the boat, there you go. Perfect, nice job. The queen snappers! All right, now Good job, <laughs> double header. Yeah. You caught him looking, you got him in the eyeball. Nice. I think it was my fish. It was your fish. <laughs> All right, Dakota got our first queen snapper. Not only our first though, first two queen snappers. Good job. Nice. You, um, you caught more than the two of them combined. <laughs> Yeah, you can grab your rod. I'm gonna put your sinker out here. All right, do it again. Catch another double header. Go get him, buddy. Going down. Long way down, everybody. There it is. There it is. There's a pen fally me, guys. A high speed reel and one of our 20 pound kite rods, which we use for bottom fishing as well as like sail fishing and kingfish and all that stuff. We kite fish with them. 
There you go, get him. Oh yeah, get him, Sassy. Go back down, double up. We're trying to double up, you guys. And you can see here, so it's 578 feet of water, marking some fish there on the bottom. Let's see if we can't get a few more here. Is that a bite? There you go, get him, wind down, hook him again. Double up, double up. Long way to come for one. Hook four. <laughs> There's four hooks. Jocelyn's the only one with three hooks. Is that a bite? Like just turn the handle a few times, like lift up easy. There you go. For sure a bite. Okay, there you go. Double up. We're getting bit up. Everyone's bit up out here. The queen snappers are good at getting the bait off the hook. They shake it off sometimes. This one's like really going. Good. Maybe you get two on there. I gotta get three. <laughs> Dakota got two. Okay, two is impressive. To get three is really tough, so. Crank on it, crank, 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 crank. There you go. I'd say start cranking it because you swim the sinker up. There's a bite, huh? Or that same one you think? I don't know. Hoping some of his friends come over. Dude, Dakota's good at this. She's whooping on. Yeah. I get her so hard. <laughs> it matter, she listens better. Yeah, she's a, I told her, I said, I said, I said, yeah. Dakota, you'll get yelled at for two reasons today. One, if you snag the bottom. Two, if you don't level wind. So she's been like religiously. She is doing good. She's level winding there too. <laughs> Keeping it nice and even. We'll see you guys here in a few minutes. You still got one or anything you got up? It's on there. We are tripled up. Is hand cranking fun, Sarah? Yeah. When you have this reel, it is. It's fast. Yeah. So this is a uh, pen torque, you guys. It's. Not as fast as the other ones, but it's smoother because it's a lower gear ratio. It doesn't tire out as fast. Oop, there you go. Slow down, slow down. Oh my god, I think she got a triple. Oh she got a triple! Woo! There you go, that's good right there. Stop. Dakota is spanking you guys! I right, grab the bottom ones. Yep, kind of pinch it there and wrap up your hand there. Yep, keep coming. A triple header for Dakota. Nice job. <laughs> Can you give these girls some pointers up there? Yeah, I'd have to say just go ahead and lay them right down on the deck for now. There you go, perfect. Nice job. I got two, I think. Oh, Jocelyn got him. There you go. Good job. Ah, Sarah got a triple two. Holy smoly. Dakota, Sarah wasn't going to let you have all the glory. There you go. Keep walking him in and lay him on the deck as you go. I got this one. There you go. Good job, Sarah. We are tearing up the queens. Dude, now we need to get a quad. Good job, Sarah. Triple header queens. These nice queen snappers. Good job, girls. Good job, We're eating Dakota. good now. <laughs> yeah. It didn't. It, it started Dakota's off really slow. <laughs> we didn't have any fish to start, and then we finally started catching them. Dakota hooked a big fish, you guys, and it's pulling and thumping good. Hopefully, it's a big queen snatter, but you never know. It could be a, a jack or something like that. But it is fighting good. She's got him coming though, so hopefully, uh, in the next five minutes, we'll have him up here. Are you cooking dinner tonight? Lazy days. Lazy day style. Pasta. Yeah. Panko great. fried. Yeah. And crab claws. If well, first we have to go catch the crab claws, but we should get a couple. That'd be good. Yeah, you got a jack. So that is a lesser amber jack, you guys. A lot of people think they're banded rudder fish, but it's not. It's a lesser jack. Can you grab the sinker? Perfect. All righty. New species for you. The last drop. We got plenty of fish for dinner now. And we're trying to get a couple more. To share the wealth. All right, so Sarah's got one on there. She's trying to double up, you guys. Trying to make it worthwhile. You think you got one up there, Jocelyn, or no? Oh, I for sure do. Okay, good. Get two. How do I know when I have two? It's a good question. Ask the girls that caught two or three at a time. Dakota, how do you know when you have four on your fishing rod? Oh! <laughs> yeah, look, it looks like this. Is that fish or bottom? Wad. That might be two or three, huh? Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, maybe it's bottom now. Oh, no. Is fish in the bottom? Oh no! <sighs> gentle, gentle, gentle. Oh no! <laughs> All right, Sassy, what happened? Well, earlier Dakota stepped on a bead and slipped. <laughs> she did fall. It was like, man down. Really we didn't catch it was graceful. We didn't have the camera on, but she did slip on the boat. So it was a little slip and fall, but I think she's good. She's hung, I got hung in the bottom, but I think it was just the weight and Nick broke the weight off. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna get him up first? He's shaking now, huh? Someone right. trying to eat him? Jocelyn's got me tangled again. <laughs> if you guys see color, let me know so I can turn the camera over that way. It is going your way. Jocelyn and I are tangled. Okay, pick the right up, Jocelyn, and walk back here and keep cranking. 
Put, keep whining and put your tip right next to Sarah's. And you'll see which way you gotta go. Just put the tips right next. Did you? you? Yeah, I just broke off. No, I saw it. Maybe you just broke no, off the I have mine. nothing. Yeah, but it broke off. I for sure had fish. Yeah. That sucks. Oh. Oops. Oh, sharks. Oh, a shark. Oh, look at this. Ah. Dang, we got wah, wah. Jocelyn's got, got eaten, Sarah's got eaten in half too. Keep cranking on yours. Keep cranking, here comes the shark. Keep cranking, keep cranking. Don't stop, don't stop. Keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming. All right, that's good. A little more, a little more. Okay, right that's good, perfect. Okay. Boo. Boo. Oh, shark's gotta eat too. Oh, oh, another big queen snapper back there. It came off. Here, there's a big queen back there, you guys. So we had a queen snapper come off you guys, but he's right there and I'm just gonna yeah, put it over there and just gonna bring him in here. We'll try to grab him. I think I can reach him. Ah. I got him. All right, who gets credit for that one? Oh, look at Dakota. He's got, <laughs> definitely. He's got he's shark. shark bites. He's got Ready? some. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> if you dropped that on my foot, I would have been you so just mad. Sliced my toe. Well, it jumped out of my hand. It almost jumped on me. All right, good way to end. At least we got a couple more. Yeah. Awesome. She gotta dance faster if Nick drops a fish. <laughs> I know how to get out of the way. So the sharks moved in, but that was really good. We got a dozen queen snapper. They're not big ones here at this spot, but uh, I have caught nice ones here before, but this year so far they've been a lot of more small ones, but still great eating. Um, the sharks moved in. A lot of times when the sharks get bad, we gotta leave the spot and go try somewhere else. And We're gonna call it a day though. It's 11, 12, so just after 11. Like, oh, yeah, they're a different type. They're pretty. So what I have learned is if you see dolphins and you're on the boat, stop. Everybody loves to see them. You right there? Yeah. Oh, yes, they're spotted on the dragon. Look how small they are. Yeah, they're like little spotted dolphins. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at that. That's beautiful. Dakota, what are they doing in Ohio today? Probably scraping through the storm. Well, that's one of the smallest dolphins I've ever seen. Look at the one. Awesome. I love dolphins. Oh, they're leaving us. Bye, buddies. All right, you guys, we're back at the dock there. There's your queen snapper. We put them in a brine so we got them nice and cold. Not monsters. This is a common size in the Bahamas. Lots of them this size in the Bahamas. But here we do get some nice ones, but you know, just they're like two, three pounders. But we got a bucket full of them. I think we got a dozen of them total. Sharks got us the last trip, but had a beautiful ride in there. Uh, that drone footage was epic that Sarah was getting, just the water's crystal clear and all that. But we're gonna take these home and cook them up. Jocelyn's coming over to cook them. And I know everyone's excited to try them, but pretty simple and easy fish to fillet. It's gonna start up by his head like normal, work our way down there, past his vent. We'll just use that knife there and push and kind of cut at the same time there. Let it do the work. Fold it over and we'll be good to go. So we got another bucket here with brine water. So salt water and ice to keep it cold, but knocking the sides off like that, taking the center bone out of the pin bones here, we call them, because we don't want to get bones in our fish. But I know the kids will love this. Sadie and Claire will love it. That's what we're gonna do, so. We got about a dozen to fillet up. We'll see you guys back at home in a little while.
don't know. <laughs> but you don't disagree with it. Um, I think that there was a little bit of a heavy bio load on it first, putting stuff from the ocean in it. Daniel's in charge of the fish tank, you guys. He said he's gonna bring it back to life. It looks better than it did a week ago. <laughs> but it still needs work. It does. You're gonna get it fixed, Daniel? We got the UV sterilizer going in. We have an auto doser getting set up. That's basically it, we increase the flow. All right. We increase the flow a lot, so. Are you hungry? Yeah. Cause you're about to have a feast. Hmm. Un momento. I was going back for more. We've got some tomatoes, some green Light onions, seasoning. Cheese. Very light on the seasoning, which is, is nice because you get the fish flavor. Do you like butter sauce? Is that right, Jocelyn? Yeah. The butter sauce is delicious. It's extra crispy on the outside, which is really good. Now we'll keep well feeding done. you if you can get this tank straightened out. Oh, we, we will get the tank straightened out here very shortly. So it just depends we on how long you want to let me uh, we were stay just over discussing tonight. Why we think the tank is doing what it's doing. And I have my own theory. And by the way, here's a photograph of my tank before Daniel was involved. I did this tank about alone. 10 years ago. It doesn't matter. Oh. I had a tank that looked like this and like this and like this. And we just showed a few pictures. And this is Daniel's tank. Let's take a poll. <laughs> Daniel? You tank keepers and fish keepers. Aquarius. If you take a calorie snail the size of a baseball and a, and a fertile one at that and put it in your tank and it spawns, what happens? Bacterial infection maybe? We already went through our cycling, everything went fine. We got rid of all of our algae, it looked good. That thing went in the tank and everything went downhill from there. So my assumption is that it's related to the calorie, but We've done massive amounts of water changes and filter changes, so inevitably, like, we filtered out what any water was in there, and I think it's just the bacteria that's left from, it. from a, a spawn of dead snail, basically. Well, we're gonna find out. Dakota, what do you think of the fish? Good? I'm gonna pretend that this is the one I caught. Well, you, you, you caught over half of them, you so. Much did. You, you probably did catch them. The chances so, are 10 out of 10. It's oh, so that's good. good, right? Alright, fresh fish in here. Claire, you're eating stone crab, making a mess, huh? Oh the fish is absolutely delicious, you guys. Hope you enjoyed that day. Started off rough, but we jumped on the other boat just for a few hours and uh, made the most of it there and got some beautiful queen snapper in there greeting. But I'm gonna show you guys our swordfish camp that we just had in December as well. That was three days long and a uh, short video, so we're gonna play that now, but I hope you guys enjoy that too. But before we go back to fishing, Tim Sears, you are the winner. It was 42 crab claws, that last harvest we did, that last pull, and uh, you get to win a free Stan's Fam t-shirt, so shoot us an email here and uh, we'll get your size and what color you want there. And, uh, you know, thank everybody for guessing there. A lot of comments, that was awesome. And, you know, some people will guess 42 later on, but he was the first one to guess it. So you win and uh, let's get back to fishing now. I guessed 42 on the boat before we even counted them. You did. Remember? And we let go some. Didn't you show all of the claws in one area? Not enough so that anyone yeah, to count. Yeah, there's a pause button. Nope. Nah, that was possible. I, I kicked you out of the frame. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, okay. All right, here we go. Back to fishing. Welcome back. The December swordfish camp. We had a beautiful morning today. Gorgeous coming out of here. Nice sunrise there, leaving Bud Mary's. And it is almost 2 p.m. We just got our first bite on the buoy rod. Mike looked back there and he goes, oh, the buoy's slack. And the buoy laid over and the fish is racing up. So fingers crossed it stays on there. We're bringing up the tip rod here. Sun's getting later in the day. We need, uh, we need this fish here. So a little bit of luck, we'll get them. Stay tuned. He's coming up with it. He's swimming up, you guys. 
I just bent over. Good? Yep, keep on just like that. Day two, you guys. Nice sunrise coming out here. No bites the first drift, but uh, second drift here, we got him on. Debbie's on the rod there, marking some bait here. A little bit of luck, he'll stay on there. Rod just bent over. He's swimming the weight up, so that's a good sign. You know, usually a 20, 30 pounder won't do that. So he's just a decent size. You never know, could be. <laughs> it might be. Did you hear that? All right, he's coming closer. What do you got? 800. I and mean, that could be a sword to it, but it just, there's something on there that's heavy, so it could be a palm fret or a small sword, you never know. So let's see what happens here. We brought in the buoy rod and uh, a fish on there too, so up to a double header. Never know, it might be a palm fret or something different. We'll see. Yes, yeah, so he might have just been foul hooked on there. Palm fret. Have to use your hand to break the leg up. And just slow down when it gets up into the rod tip, right? Oh, he coughed up the old, uh, what do you cough up there? A little snake mackerel. The old palm fritter. Hey, buddy. I bet you never caught one of those before. Definitely not. <laughs> Alrighty, the swordfish got away on the front rod. He just foul hooked, it looks like. The bait was still perfectly fine. But we got a palm fritter on the back rod. Fish. It's like so I'm looking up. Mahi Mahi is great with his fish is one more. Just take your time there, so get the rest of them on there. Do you want to leave them out or do you want to? Yeah, just leave them out to yep. Mike gets ready. Yep. It'll be a good bait, no doubt. Oh, a headshot. Oh, nice eye shot. Nice. Eyeball. Did you get that on GoPro? A couple of my he's swimming the boat. That's three on, got two in the boat. What do you think, swordfish or palm frit? Mike says palm frit, I'm thinking swordfish, but uh, what is it, third drift, end of it there, we got another bite there. Got one on the back rod. Marking some bait and all that good stuff on here on the sim rod, on the sonar. So, let's see what happens here. I think swordfish. All right, we need a break here. We need this fish. Oh, we got one back there too. Could be the old double. Could be the daily double. Could be our daily double. I think we got a small one on the tip rod. Seems like a sword. And then Mike was uh, clear on the back rod. He got one on there. So we'll see. Hopefully one of them stays on, if not both of them. Lost two swords so far. They got a palm for there. Got a couple of mahis, but we would love to get a keeper sword. He's a cute one. Those are the ones that are tough to catch, you guys. See how small he is? Put your drag back. Push your drag back up there. Back on. Slow it up a little bit because we're pulling on it. Doesn't hurt some of them, but that yeah. thing will crack it right back down to the bottom. Yeah. Time to fillet the palm for it. But cool fish there, cool colors on them. Don't catch many of them, so nice little surprise when we do. But we're not gonna be scaling them like we did that one time because they've got like armor on them, like very tough skin and scales there. We're good eating and one of the fish we catch is bycatch while we swordfish. And if you remember, the rib cages on these things are insane. Like super thick, bony rib cages. A couple little worms in them there. You can see a few little worms. Missed a tad of meat here. Yeah. So that little piece there could be like sashimi right there. And we'll skin this thing. And these are good eating, you know, they're a little bit different, a little different texture. 
not uh, super common because we just catch a, hand, a few a year, usually not a handful a year. Get rid of this little bony rib cage thing. We don't want to eat those, too many bones in that. Well, that's a filet of fish. Do the other side too. Day three, another pretty sunrise coming out here. Out of Ala Mirada, no bites the first drift. Right at the end of our second drift, we hooked up here and uh, just started swimming the light up. So fingers crossed he stays on there. John wants the swordfish, so do we. Chop, chop. Yes, sir. Here we go. This just it looks a little. Is it a keeper? I don't know. It looks small. Just a little guy, maybe. Yeah. Here's the bottom jaw. Yeah. Right type, wrong size. We let him go and then we get that picked off next. Come on, buddy. Grow up. Get big. Baby. Pretty one. The little ones are about. Pretty though. Oh. Trying to de-wrap the boat. That one's hooked perfectly in the corner. We watched the boat. He ate the wrong dolphin belly. They might be good stuff too, huh? Come on. Look at that. Hey, give it back. <laughs> Small of it. Wish we could resend her. Hope you all enjoyed that video. The second part was our December swordfish camp. We got four swordfish over the three days. Most of them were small. We did keep one the first day though, but everyone got to take some home for dinner. You know, we didn't fill the freezers, but everyone got a fresh dinner anyhow. We just got a new sweatshirt in right here. Lightweight hoodies. Sadie's got the little kids one on. I got the adult on. And uh, double drawstring on there. It's a little bit different. And that's all we got for you guys. So the fish tank is coming along. It looks great. Daniel put the UV sterilizer in there. Did another water change and uh, things are looking up. It was looking pretty rough last time. Hopefully you guys all have a great Christmas. Hopefully we're getting another video out next week, maybe on Christmas Day if we're lucky. And uh, that's all I got for you guys. So hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. If you want any merch, head to the website stansfishing.com. We got our new lightweight hoodies on there. We'll see you guys then. So we'll see you next time. Again. <laughs> Who colored on the floor? Claire. Claire. Claire did that. Claire, was Claire did you color on the floor? Oh, she's in there. <laughs> <She admitted. laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.